Hey guys, and welcome back to Resident Evil. When we last left off, we were pretty much uh, at the end of the game, in the lab, which is pretty cool. We got past the green boys, which is very cool. So, let's go turn on the power before we have um, too many more uh, <laughs> uh, issues, should we say, going forwards. Um, I do like to get... Ooh, hello, you gribbly bastard. I tell you what, the graphics... Okay... They're not that bad. Like, the detail on the faces is very impressive. I mean, admittedly, that's probably due to the fact that we have these static backdrops. So they could use all of the uh, PS1's processing power on the models themselves. But it's still really fucking cool. Oh, God. I really don't like these chimeras. As you guys told me, they were called chimeras. And I totally forgot about that. We shall activate the blacked out areas. Oh, yep, that was going to hurt. Yeah, these guys are quite tough. Now, these were made, uh, as Jimmy kind of reminded me, uh, by implanting embryos, uh, infected embryos into women. It's, yeah, it's really fucked up, these things are. The way they brought them back in the second game, oh, the remake, sorry, was really interesting. They were really gnarly. Uh, look at that. We're still fine. Two swipes from those with Jill. And Jill was, like, basically done. Which I always thought was cool. And if you do kill them as well, they do leave those grubs behind, which, well, is pretty gribbly in its own right. Okay, so... I like the fact there's no Chimera in this room. Uh, in this room there is, of course. And all that white noise. Oh, it soothes the soul. Yeah, walked into that. Uh, come on. Nope. A power connector switch. The elevator power is off. Will you connect it? Yes. The power for the elevator is activated. As the power supply and the circuit have been connected. Good. Let's get the fuck out of here. It still feels strange to me going back to this game. Um, the fact that your characters don't react to getting damaged. They don't limp and uh, drag around like uh, they do in the later games. Kind of, I don't know, it's, all, it's a bit strange. Um, it, it feels a little bit off because it falls you into a false sense of security. I do like the, the damage reaction on your characters. Oh, we're going to walk into that as well. I mean, it's not as if we don't have enough her herf. <laughs> that was a mix of health and herbs. Um, but yeah, we, we didn't really need that, to be honest. We're on caution. We can go heal up. Um, right. It's definitely been kind to us um, this time around. It, this game has been very kind to us. Now, we don't really have anything to worry about. We've just got zombies. Uh, the Chimera do kind of escape a little bit. Uh, in a minute. Like, once the bomb starts going off. Uh, actually, we can take a Modisk as well, because we are going to use that. We've got one more, haven't we? Where did I put that? We've got one more to find. Yeah, because we're going to go do the box puzzle now. Oh, I hate the box puzzle. Or maybe I'm just worried. Like, I don't think it's as hard as I always think it is, but it's... Ugh. Let's go do it. Uh, I think there's some shotgun shells in here as well. Yes. Yes, there is some shotgun shells in here. Um, yeah. Oh, and there's a red herb as well. Mm, nice. It's an operating table. Yeah, we don't want the operating table, Chris. We want the... Sh yep. If Chris, that's absolutely fascinating. Can we get the shotgun shells, please? Thank you. Why would you be talking about the operating table when you've got a fucking box of shotgun shells like looking you in the face? Hey, all right, mate. Have a load of these. It's like, cheers, buddy. Thank you. Don't mind if I do. Right, so we're going to squeeze that one there. Uh, then, hang on. Let me try and I think this one. 
Uh, see, I haven't actually done this as Jill for, for like well over a week. Actually, I think I did before I went on holiday. I can't remember now. I've been on holiday for nearly two weeks. Uh, right, now we want to scooch that over and up, I think. Something a little bit like that. This is a much better camera angle than the original. So something a little bit like that, I think. And then, boxes, huh? Oh yeah, we need to, hang on. Yeah, yeah. Did my doorbell go? I don't think so. Let's take one of my headphones off, there we are. Right, let's give this a squeeze over here. A little bit long here. Yeah, there's definitely some, some van action going on outside. Wouldn't have thought that would be my CEX delivery. Although that would be nice. As much as I love the Wii U, I'll tell you what I don't like about it. I don't like the fact that the battery... Whoa, what is all that noise outside? I don't like the fact that the battery on the gamepad only lasts a couple of hours. Uh, they did make high capacity batteries for it. For, but <laughs> if you can find one, uh, they're about a hundred and ten pounds on eBay, and obviously no sane, rational human would spend that on a second-hand battery, which you don't know how it's been used because lithium-ion uh, batteries die. They're only good for X amount of charge cycles, and then they die. Um, to start off with, they're good for about four hundred. Then it went up to 500, and a modern lithium-ion battery can be charged about a thousand times. But yes, there we go. Done and done. So they are getting better, and technically I suppose the Wii U's ones uh, are fairly modern. Right, so what have we got in here then? We've got something flashing up there. We've got naked zombies on the floor, which we don't really care about. You can't use the modisk here. Is that right? Are you sure? If you had a modisk, Chris, you mean this modisk in your pocket? Unbelievable, honestly. Right, there. Yeah. Well, we've got that now. Um, cool. What is on that shelf? Is there anything in the box? I mean, I guess we could take the zombie out, I suppose. Uh, I didn't mean to stand on him, but, you know, that's fine. What's that? Oh! <laughs> yeah, don't mind if I do, I suppose. Yes, yes, I shall have some more, some more ammo for my shotgun. Because, shotgun, you know, there's a crow literally outside. Like, squawking his little head off. It's like, um, that's ominous. Was, ooh, hello. Sit down. Uh, that's ominous, Resident Evil. Why you got to do that stuff to your boy? Oof. Oh, he's behind. There we go. A little bit off the top. Any more? There's always more. There's always more. Yeah, so I don't know exactly how many zombies are in here. But I know they're not unlimited. They just respawn a few times. Right, cool. Now let's go upstairs. Oh, we did actually leave a herb up here, didn't we? I suppose we might as well chow down on that. We'll chew it down. We'll have a feast of green herbage. Oh, and that should stay off the uh, the hunger pains for green herbs. You know, people of Raccoon City, are, well, you know, apart from the fact that most of them are the walking dead, um, people of Raccoon City must be pretty healthy. I mean, all they do is eat leafy greens. That's pretty healthy, to be fair. Uh, I need to eat more greens, really, but I need to eat better in general. Yeah, I live off bread, mainly. Bread and butter. Bread and jam. Well, toast, if you, you know, want to be specific. Uh, usually only have like one meal a day. Never eat before work, so generally can't be asked. Uh, hmm, yes, this is something I do need to sort out. Usually have dinner, but I don't have dinner if the missus is at work till late, because I don't see the point in cooking just for me. 
Um, let's get this going. You can't use it here. Uh, yeah, we, we really can, Chris. Chris! There we go. Umbrella. And then, of course, we know all this is all the same. It's all the same. Although, uh, Cyberus does look a little bit different. Uh, on that black and white photo. Kind of looks a little bit like a shark, actually. Wesker, what have you been doing? Right, let's have a little fiddle here. There's a panel. Will you open it? We will. There's a switch. Will you push it? We will. Okay. Although I do like my porridge. I don't like cereal, though. Breakfast cereals and things. Just I, I don't know. Even when I was a kid, I couldn't stand them. And toast is just quick and easy to do, you know. Two slices of bread in the toaster. Fucking put it down. Done. No pissing around. Hmm. Right. I mean, it beats zombie brains, I assume. Like, I wouldn't fancy trying that shit. So we've got our last modisk. So we can get Jill out of here and we can get the best ending. At least, I think we're on track to get the best ending. Uh... In regards to Rebecca, I maybe um, I am fuzzy, very fuzzy with Chris, as I've said numerous times through this playthrough. <clears throat> Apart from the fact that I've seen Jimmy's playthrough recently, which was at the time of this recording, maybe nearly three weeks ago. Um, oh, hey, sir. Hello. Come on. Really? Oof, that was close. That was close. Yeah, we're going to flip the switch. Right, we don't actually need anything in here. I guess we'll take that for prosperity. Researcher's letter. Yeah, we know all that shit. Uh, John Ada. Yep, we know. What could that mean, Chris? What could that mean? wonder if that's a code for something. It could be, you know. Uh, there is the handgun magazines in here. I think there's two of them, but... Uh, do we want... Oh, fuck. I didn't want to take... I guess we might as well take the bloody things. Sure. Sure, we'll take them. I mean, technically, in the next room, we're going to use a MoDisc up. Oh, there's a herb there as well. Ooh. 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 Yes. We'll have it. Sure. We'll have it. Right. Well, we're full. Uh, was there anything in the sink? It seems someone used this only recently. Yes, the zombie washed his face. Because uh, he wanted to look all pretty for you, Chris. He wanted to give you a big old kiss, but you're having none of it. The zombie waited there for you. He waited there for you, Chris. And you didn't let him give you an osh. Probably for the best, to be honest. He might have washed his face, but I doubt he brushed his teeth. Right. Ooh, zombies. Oh. Ooh, I was hoping for a triple. We do like our triples. I mean, a double's pretty good, but a triple's where the money is. You know what these guys... Ah, oh, fuck them. You know what these guys remind me of? They remind me of those um, artist dummies that you can get. Fuck them. We don't need to spare the ammo. Uh, there we go. They really do. Uh, there's nothing. Cardboard and posters. Nothing useful. Yes. Uh, I think there was ink ribbons here as Jill. I think. Alright. Um, anything here? More of them are fiction books. Most of them are fiction books. Yes. Nothing special. Well. It's a passcode output machine. If I had a modus. Yes, like the one in your pocket again, Chris. Chris, please. No, no, Chris. No, no. Don't do it. Don't do it, Chris. Stop stop looking at the thing and use the thing. There we go. Passcode 01. Right. Now, Jill won't get vaporized in this building. You know, I don't know if she'd even get... Oh, Even if she would get vaporized in this building, to be honest with you. Um, because she's buried so deep back there. But she'd probably get trapped, and that'd be horrific, wouldn't it? I wonder what was left of the Arkley mansion. I wonder if it really was totally and utterly vaporized. Or if we can come back here in another game. Imagine how cool that would be. 
Or there was a mole. Now, I'm assuming the mole was obviously Ada. Now, Jimmy brought up an interesting thing um, about a spin-off game as Ada being all sly and stealthy, kind of like a Metal Gear Solid game. Wouldn't that be interesting if one of the things you had to do in that game was to sneak into the Arkley Mansion and steal the stuff? I think that would be cool. Chris. Hello. Hello, trouble. Jill. Chris, where's the news? I know. Shoot, it doesn't open. Look, Jill, wait here. I'll save you. Okay, I'll <laughs> wait. You sure you want to wait, Jill? Sure, don't go right, shopping or something whilst you're waiting. Go to the shooting range, practice, squeeze off a few easy shots. You sure? You sure you're gonna wait there for us? Well, if you insist. At least we know where she's going to be. Bless her. Jill Valentine and Chris Redfield. God damn heroes. Ah, truly some of my favourite characters in gaming. Hey guys. Ooh. Smoked them both. Do we go in here? Yeah, this is where we... Yeah, we, of course we went in here. You're a fool. I wonder what it says if we search these. This place seems to be a morgue. Ah, it is a morgue. There's no fridges here. You would have thought uh, there would be fridges. Right, well, I think there's only one thing left to do. And that is to grab the battery. And uh, get ready to depart. Let's go switch up our weapons. Because the shotgun's cool. And we like the shotgun. The shotgun has been a very happy, reliable friend to us throughout this game. But she is obsolete now. Oof. Colt Python. With 54 rounds. And look at that, the Bretta as well. We had 30 rounds left for the Beretta. Not a terrible outcome, to be honest. Uh, combine. Ugh. Nope, want to combine those. There we go. Um, now, uh, one problem with Chris is obviously he can't hold as much healing um, as Jill. But I don't think we're going to really need it. To be honest, let's mix herbs. So yeah, we've got three full heal. You know that's that is plenty. To be honest, um, we're not going to need them. Not going to need more than that. Or if we ha or if we do, something's gone very very wrong. Now let's go. There's no reaction. It has no power. Yeah, it should do now. There's a switch. Will you push it? Yes. So let's go down to B3. Chris. Hey, Rebecca's here. Rebecca, you're safe. I saw you in the garden. I've caught up with you mm. at last. Well, I'm glad you're all right. Don't go out alone. Yes, sir. <sighs> These two really should have stuck together, I think. That would have been more interesting. But then I think Jill and, and Barry should have... Well, Barry had reasons, in all fairness. He was under uh, Wesker's thumb. But Rebecca definitely could have stuck with Chris a little bit more. Chris? As my subordinate, you have wonderful talent. Mm. I would never work for a company like Umbrella. And Wesker, you were formerly with Umbrella. What do you mean? Since when have you been an Umbrella agent? And a traitor to the stars? Now you're wrong. I was formerly with Umbrella, <laughs> yes. But now I'm prepared to face anything. He just contradicts Even himself. getting rid of you vigilante stars. 
now, the worst possible situation has occurred. The failure of the experiment created a virus, a biological weapon, polluting the entire lab. No, the worst happened with the tyrant virus. I lost one of my star's team members because of it. You killed them with your own hands. Did you kill Enrico? Really? Yeah. <laughs> Like this. Oof. That's savage. Don't move. If you do, I'll kill you. Chris, I have something to show you. Now, walk. That's pretty cold to just gun down Rebecca. I mean, what is she, 18 or something? She's basically this little intern. <laughs> just, just fucking blast her like that. That's really savage. Bloop, bloop. Oh, this thing. This thing is hideous. Look at it. It's like veiny mouth and stuff. Like, they did clean them up in the newer ones. They look a lot more, um, I guess, complete. But then, I suppose Jill does say it, it's not ready yet. I don't know how she knows that. Is this? That's right. This is the ultimate life form. Tyrant. <laughs> oh, not Shadow. <laughs> Stop it, don't laugh. <laughs> Wesker, you're pitiful. This is your savior? You say this failure is your savior? Did he say it? Did he say that, though? I don't think he said that. You can make sure yourself whether Tyrant is a failure or not. Now, I'm assuming Tyrant is supposed to be programmed to not kill um, Umbrella employees, or at least high-level Umbrella employees. So I guess because he's not ready. That's why he flips out and kills Wesker. I don't really know. Or maybe there's just no way of controlling it. Oh, look at that. Oh, you ugly son of a bitch. <laughs> Jill will join you too. What did you what did you think, Wesker? What? The you and Tyrant are gonna be pals? What? You're gonna be buddies? Don't come this way! No! Oh, right through the guts. Well, I guess he had a lot of guts. No longer. Right, let's go. Come on. Come on, Chris. Come on, Chris. You can't kill me. <laughs> you can't kill me. Why is that, Chris? <laughs> oh, God. Fuck me. You Maybe he can, Chris. Maybe he can, because we got stuck in a corner. Right, well. One, two, and six shots. Yeah, we're gonna fire our six shots into the wind. I don't know if that was hitting him. That's not hitting him. Why is that not hitting him? Because there's no blood splurting out. That's hitting him. That's really strange. Yeah, not hitting him. Hitting him. Don't know why that's happening. Uh, there we go. Yeah, he doesn't seem to lock on to the tyrant very well, but it doesn't matter too much, I guess. Uh, luckily, we do have the ammo to spare. What a miserable death. Indeed. All right, well, let's get the fuck out of here. Looks like the control device for this room. Found a door lock switch. Unlock the door? Yes. Now, let's just sit in here with the tyrant whilst he regens. So anyway, that's how uh, Wesker gets infected. They do go a little bit more into it in the Umbrella Chronicles, I believe, which was that Wii light gun game, which I never really liked that much. Wow. <laughs> Seems like this bulletproof jacket is pretty strong. Well, that's convenient. I see. How about Captain Wesker? 
he is sleeping with the ultimate failure. <laughs> Hurry up. I want to get out of here. Wow. Yes, bulletproof vest at that range. I don't know. Especially the sort of bulletproof vest it looks like she's wearing, which is paper thin. Ugh. Hey, why are we thinking about this? Overcomplicating the whole thing. Might actually finish his game in this this sitting actually. Excuse me, Chris. Uh, what damn Rebecca? that jacket. I saw a research file in this lab. It said that a great deal of research on the tyrant virus exists right here. We should blow this place up. Uh, how are we gonna do that, Rebecca? We are already into it over our heads. Rebecca, can you do it? <laughs> Yes, sir. I'll set off a triggering system for a bomb. Uh, okay. I. S okay. Now we have a chance to escape. See you outside the house. <laughs> See you outside the house. Uh, <laughs> I love it. It's so good. So, if she doesn't mention the fact that she's found a triggering system or that she has a bomb. She's just like, hey, yeah, let's blow this place up with a triggering system and a bomb. Chris is just like Chris just goes with it you know he, he just yeah cool alright I think he's just surprised that her paper thin red Kevlar top stopped a, a, a fucking well I'm going to assume that Wesker's got a 45 because Wesker oh no I think it was only Baza that had the 45 wasn't it um, because they've all got samurai's edges customised samurai's edges um Jill's was just balanced and really accurate. I can't remember what Chris's was good at. Um, Barry's was rechambered to a 45 from a 9mm, so it was much more stopping power. And I'm sure Wesker's was a very powerful variant as well. <clears throat> So, I guess she just got lucky. Maybe he missed, in all fairness, and she's just good at taking a dive. Right, so, what we're going to do... We are going to make a safety save, but we're going to go get Jill out. I'm not super confident with taking on the Tyrant. Uh, I'm, well, I 50-50, mm, I think. I think it's going to be easier with Chris, because Chris has got a lot more health. Jill! Sorry for making <laughs> you wait. Chris! Aww. I knew I could trust you. Let's go. There's no need to stay. There's no need to stay. <laughs> no shit, Chris. Let's just fucking set up camp, shall we? Right, um, let's check this. See what it, if it says what this is. Magnum rounds loaded. Yeah, so. Maybe a 357 or a 45, I don't know. Um, now, the Colt Python, my favourite Colt Python, is uh, in the remake the Colt Python that is actually very easy to miss. It's uh, an optional item uh, found by doing an optional puzzle. And that thing looks gorgeous. Let's get going. Definitely one of Barry's. Yeah, I love that Colt Python. I always wanted a replica of that. I actually want to get some replica um, weapons. There's a company that does them in Japan. But they're like five to six hundred pounds when they're well, even when they're available on eBay. Um, they're crazy cool. They're really realistic. I think they're BB or airsoft guns as well, which I don't really care about that. But they're really expensive, and they did have uh, the Colt Python at one point, um, and they got the little. Uh, information leaflet with it and where it's from what game it's from what character it is and all this shit it's really cool and it's even got a number on it so I, I believe they're all limited edition 
Uh, in fact, yes, I think they all are limited edition. But um, yeah, they just they they go for crazy money because if you look at what they cost in yen, if you pre-order them, and then you look at what they cost to order, it's five or six times more expensive. Uh, limited run, but then you can get a lot of cool statues and figurines and stuff from games and uh, especially Resident Evil. Resident Evil had a really cool Ada Wong statue uh, made by a very prestigious company from Japan which I know nothing about um, and that was a thousand pounds and that was what the company was charging so I don't <laughs> I don't know what it would cost to actually get your hands on it but yeah it, it, I think it was an 18 inch figure and it looked incredible it was Ada Wong in her dress from Resident Evil 4 and it was amazing um, and as most of these things do they come out they sell out immediately but yeah it's about a thousand pounds which yeah it's not for the likes of mere mortals like myself this Never gets old. Pop in their heads like that. Never gets old. Ooh. And it's something to do with the um, the Resident Evil head pop. It's the best, most satisfying head pop in any like game ever. I invite you to prove me wrong. There's something about the way the heads just burst open, almost like a pinata. A gooey piñata. Um, there's something so delicious about it. It's so satisfying. And they carried that through through all the Resident Evil games. Even like Resident Evil 2 Remake and Resident Evil 3 Remake. When you get that head pop. Oh. Oh. Suits you, sir. And indeed, yep. Yeah, Resident Evil 5 and Resident Evil 4. Very satisfying stuff. Right. Come on, Jill. See, I know Brad wigged out and chickened out and fucked off, but admittedly, he didn't abandon everybody. He did try and con. Well, I mean, he kind of abandoned everybody. Where's the battery? I've forgotten the battery. I actually have forgotten the battery, haven't I? I can't remember where the battery was. One second, guys. Bugger. Okay. <laughs> Do you know what's really funny about this? I actually just remember where it was. I know where it is. I know exactly where it is. We walked past it earlier. Do you know what's really funny about this? Um, Jimmy Fails actually said, Imagine making it this far without the battery. <laughs> well, Jimmy, I guess we know what that feels like now. I guess... Yes, that was my plan all along. Indeed. That was indeed my plan. Oh, I like the way Jill's following me. That was my plan all along. I wanted to know what it felt like to be king of the morons. And make it all... Ah, see, she won't follow us through this door. Yes, to be king of the morons and follow us all the fucking way back here. I cannot believe I forgot this battery. Because obviously in the in the normal mode, the battery is um, yeah that's gonna hurt. We're gonna take a little bit more damage, which is fine. The battery was right next to the elevator, but we're not playing the normal mode, are we? No, no, we're not. We're playing a ranged mode, where we literally walk past the battery earlier. Ah, uh, well, at least we've got plenty of health if we take too much damage. I cannot bloody believe. Now, I would skip this out, this walk of shame. But because there's so many enemies around, there is a chance that we could get killed here. So I want to leave it all in. Leave it all in. 
just in case. Because you never know. It's unlikely. Um, because most of these guys are fairly easy to walk past or run past. But you never know. So. Ah, the walk of shame. There it is. Right there. Ah. Yes, we will take the battery. Unfrickin' believable. And we should probably take some health. Oh, I can't believe that. Well, I can't believe it. It's me. I'm stupid. But there we go. A little bit more drama thrown into the mix. It's obviously, because of this fuck up, it's going to be a longer video now. Um, hmm. Ow. My face. Oh. I was just like, wait. <laughs> wait. Where's the battery? Where is it? Where is it? God, Titan, you're such a noob, man. I thought you played Resident Evil before. I guess maybe I was lying. Guys, it's all been fake gameplay footage. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I've let you all down. It's actually my neighbor's cat playing. I'm just uh, just commentating over the top, you know. I just gave Mittens a big old bucket of kibble. Uh, some of the mistakes I've made, I actually think my cat was playing. Not my cat. My cat's too stupid. But the neighbor's cat, he's a smart chap, actually, the neighbor's cat. He, uh, yeah, he switched on. <sighs> Hello, I found the battery. No, don't concern yourself, Jill. I've done, I've done it. I've done it, I've done it. Right, we're actually fine. Although, can we take a herb? Can we take a herb? Because we did get sliced. Yeah, we can. Okay, so even though it says we're fine, we weren't actually fine. Yes. Let's continue. Wait, did I? Hang on. Eh, two health items should be enough, I suppose. <laughs> One way to find out. God damn it. Yeah. I mean, with Jill, I'd be concerned of only having two health items. But with Chris, we, we should be okay. I mean, Chris can take the hits. Right. There's the fucking battery. Put that battery in the hole. Ah. Oh. Yeah, well, where were you a minute ago? But there's hunters. Look at those monsters! <laughs> Let me take care of them. But Chris, get in contact with Brad. Right what are the monsters doing? Okay. Just standing there? Looking at you? Grinning their teeth? I like the way she waves us off. Gives us a, a gentle pat on the buttocks as we walk off into the sunset. Never to be seen again. Because we only have two health items. <laughs> Look at Chris. <laughs> Look at that face. You'd, ne <laughs> You'd never know that's Chris Redfield, would you? <laughs> oh, you'd love to see it, guys. Right, um, now. Oh, dear. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Oh, dear. This is where the game gets fucking real. Oh, um... Well, where should we fire this off? I mean, he spawns, like, over there, so... Ugh, right. Let's let this little party popper off. Puff. Ah, <laughs> uh, shit. Right. Hold on to your ass.
Come on. Come on. Don't worry about my time that's trickling away. It's fine. Come on, you big ugly bastard. <laughs> I like the way Chris is just impatiently waiting. Uh oh, he's gonna hit me now. Yeah. Yep, and again. Jeez Louise, big puppet cheese. Can we take the hit? Yeah, well, I guess we will never know. Do we want to heal, being on this low health? Oh, Christ, on a motorbike. We definitely want to heal now. I can't tell, you know, if these shots are actually hitting him. I really can't tell. Ooh, run, avoid, shoot. Well, one of those hit. <sighs> uh oh. Uh, yeah, he's not aiming at him at all. I don't know why. Oh, God. Rookie mistake. Rookie mistake of the highest order. We're just going to shoot the shit out of him. What we like. Caution. Uh, we're fine. Don't worry about me, Brad. We're fine. We're fine. Yep. We're fine. Oh, thanks. I will destroy the monsters. Plural. Come on. Ooh. Notice how he stopped running at me then. I don't know why. And that was about as close as it gets. Because he's about to kick me in the sacks. Run! Oof. Fuck you, buddy. Oof. First time. Oof. Right, now, don't worry, anyone. But we have about eight seconds before the place explodes. S uh, guys, eight seconds before the place explodes? I'm just saying. Just throwing it out there. You know. No one gonna listen to me? Okay. Okay, fine. Mm. And there we have it. Resident Evil. Oof, I love the way Brad comes in there. I love the way he comes in. It's like wonky ass. I mean, that chopper's been going all night, and it probably was maintained by Rebecca, so that's a little bit suspect. I wouldn't want to fly in a helicopter that's been maintained by her. And there we go. Kind of looking forward to seeing what my time's going to be. Rebecca's done. Oh, she's changed at least. But where's Barry? Barry's still there fighting him off now. Barry's up to his ass in the undead. And he's loving every second of it. And there we go, guys. That is Resident Evil 2. No, why did I say that? Resident Evil 1, Director's Cut. Hard mode. Arrange mode. Done and dusted. 6 hours 45. Yeah, I'm guessing you probably take about... Uh, 10 minutes off that or 15 minutes off that I suppose with the interruptions and things uh, unlike <laughs> with Jill where there was a way over an hour actually took a while but did blunder that a few times what a tough guy you've closed this case completely have we have we I don't think we have uh, I think this is uh, to quote John 117 I think we're just getting started so I finally, I think I've kind of redeemed myself a little bit after that embarrassingly awful um, original OP of mine. Uh, there we go. So, two clear saves. One for Jill, one for Chris. Gonna baby and protect this memory card now. Although, honestly, like, that wasn't that bad. Um... 
It's definitely a fuck ton harder than the normal mode. I mean, that goes without saying, but it it's not ridiculously hard or anything. Um, I mean, we did get very lucky with Chris. I can't believe we didn't die as Chris. Did we die? Did we, I don't think we... As Jill, we died quite a few times. Loads of times, actually. I don't, we didn't die once as Chris, did we? Huh. Did we die with Yawn? I can't... I honestly... No, we, we didn't. No. I don't think we did. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Um... Uh, I think before we do any more Resident Evil, we are going to upload uh, the rest of the DLC that I did with Jimmy. Um, then we are going to do Desert Strike, I think. But that's going to be really quite quick and easy. And then we need to think about Resident Evil 2. And I need to decide what version of Resident Evil 2 I'm going to do. Or what Resident Evil game I'm going to do next. Because we are going to replay them all. But I don't know if I'm going to do them in order. Or if I'm just going to... Because I really want to do the Dreamcast version of Resident Evil 2. And Resident Evil 3. I really do want to do the Dreamcast versions. Um, but I don't know. It's a little way off yet anyway. But thanks for watching guys. And as always... Till next time.